Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of the Matchbox restoration series. This is the second model that I'll be restoring. The first restoration didn't get recorded because I needed all my time to get used to the whole process. I have never worked with paint stripper, airbrush or Matchbox models before, so I'm still figuring out what's the best way of getting things done along the way. If you have any tips or advice while watching this video, please let me know in the comments. In this episode I'll be restoring the 29C fire pumper truck I used to play with when I was a kid. Let's see if we can bring it back to life. First let's open the model up by drilling out the rivets. I'm using a 4mm drill to drill out the large rivet and a 3mm drill for the smaller ones. It does take some fiddling around to get a clean result. The same goes for the rivet that's keeping the window unit in place. So wiggling around and there it is. To put the model back together once it's repainted, I drill a hole with a 1.5mm into the post of the larger rivet. I do this small steps at a time to avoid breaking the drill. Don't ask how I know this. To make sure I don't miss any spots, I gently apply a coat of paint stripper to the model. I might review this approach in the future, but for now it does the job. About 15 minutes later the paint goes off easily with a toothbrush. I ordered from an Australian webshop called Marty's Toothbrush Service. I highly recommend them. I remove the smaller pieces of paint that didn't come off with some tweezers, so that the model is ready for a base coat. To get the wheels and axles from the bottom, I use my Dremel tool to remove the small lips from the axles. This way I can reinstall the wheels with the original axles afterwards. Here I am polishing the base with my Dremel tool. I am still experimenting with different types of polish and tools to get the best result. For the base coat I use Tamiya Fine Surface Primer. It sprays rather wet, so I try to keep it further away from the model to avoid losing detail in the process. Now it's time to apply the red fire truck color to the model. I'm using acrylic paints from Tamiya. 5 parts red X7 and 2 parts lemon yellow X7. The outcome is a bit brighter than the original color, probably because of the white base coat, but I like the color so I'll go for it. Because of the small compressor I'm using, the airbrush sprays some very light coats. This makes it easier for me to get the color evenly onto the model. This is my second paint job with an airbrush gun, so I'm still learning how to get a proper result. I let the paint dry for a day, something I learned the hard way on my first restoration. I gently put back the hoses and leather and after that the window unit goes back into place. For this application I'm using epoxy glue. The 
Time to put the wheels and axles back onto the frame. I'm still figuring out a way to do this without me having a drill press like other people are using. Currently I'm just using a hammer to gently tap the end of the axle to get it in the right shape. Before I can put everything back together, I have to tap the thread into the 1.5mm hole I drilled earlier. I'm using a 2mm tap and some oil to get a smooth result. I use the tap in small steps to avoid damaging the thread. After that I can assemble both parts together. I use a bit of epoxy glue for the smaller rivet posts and a 2mm bolt to secure the base. All that's left now is to apply the Denver decals to the model. First I cut the decals to the right dimensions and dip them in some hot water. In the meantime I'm applying some drops of water onto the model to give me some time to line up the decal once it's on the model. And that's it. All in all, I'm quite happy with the result. Since this is my first video, please feel free to subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when I'm uploading another video. Thank you for watching.